Antenna analyzers are a great tool when setting up or adjusting your antennas. And the rig expert analyzers are some of the best you can get. If you're like me and do a lot of portal operations, you may have considered something like the Stick 230 or the Stick Pro. Now I have heard there may even be another stick in the works. More on that later. Welcome to the House of Ham. I'm Bob WV7W, and today we're going to look at the two current analyzers in the Rig Expert stick line and take a sneak peek at something completely new, so stick around. Now, if you've watched many of my videos, you may have seen me using the Stick 230. This has become a valuable part of my portable kit. Now, the folks at Rig Expert were kind enough to loan me this Stick Pro so I can give you a quick comparison between them. Now let's start with the obvious stuff. The Stick 230 has an e-ink display, as where the Pro has a color display. And both of these displays are bright and easy to read. Now the Stick 230 has an SO239 connector, which is probably the most common connector used in ham radio. The Stick Pro has an N-type connector, which is common at UHF and higher frequencies. But it also comes with an N to SO239 adapter. Now this leads us to one of the biggest difference, and that is in frequency coverage. The Stick 230 goes from 100 kilohertz to 230 megahertz, so it's great for HF, 6 meters, 2 meters, and even the 220 band. But that leaves the 440 band uncovered. That is where the Pro comes in. It also starts at 100 kilohertz, but goes up to 600 megahertz, so you get that 440 band. Now you may be asking. Why go all the way up to 600 megahertz when we only use up to 440? Well, commercial users need that extra frequency space, even if us hams don't. It's not always about us. Now, surely the Pro must have some more features to warrant that Pro label. Well, it does. It shares a lot of the other features that are in the full size rig experts, like the ability to measure cable length and loss, stub tuning, TDR, as well as many others that will appeal to more advanced users. And I will do a, few, a future video on the full rundown of the Stick Pro, so stay tuned for that. Now for most hams though, the Stick 230 feature set is more than enough, and really the only thing missing is the ability to do the 440 band. If only there were a stick that had the 230 features, but could cover that 440 band. So what if I told you that there was something in the works that would do just that? So here is a sneak peek of that device that will bridge that gap. Stay tuned for a video coming very soon on this new device and how it may be exactly what you're looking for. In the meantime, here's another video you may like. Until next time, 73s.